What's going on guys? My name is Alex and welcome back. Today we are making a delicious dessert. Comes from way back in the Greek and Roman times to your table today. It's super easy and it's super delicious. Today we're making cheesecake. Let's go. You're gonna start out with about 33 pieces of graham cracker. That's about two packages. Put them in a Ziploc bag and go ahead and crunch those up. I like my crust a little chunky. If you like that fine powdery, go ahead and use a food processor. Otherwise, crumble them up just like this. Crushed it. Next, we're gonna need some cream cheese, about 20 ounces or about two and a half boxes. Bring those up to room temperature and you're good to go. Next, a full stick of butter. I know, it's not the healthiest dish, but it's delicious and it's cheesecake. We'll need some sugar for that crust. Okay, so take your five eggs and go ahead and separate them out. You're gonna have two full eggs, you're gonna have three egg yolks, and then you're gonna have three egg whites. Go ahead, take those egg whites, toss them in the fridge, use them for an omelet in the morning, whatever you need to do with them, you're not gonna need them here. Bye bye yolks. All right, now you're gonna need a full cup of sugar. about a cup and a fourth of sour cream. Make sure to bring that to room temperature. Okay, so now you're gonna wanna add about a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Make sure it's the pure vanilla extract because that flavor is really gonna come out. Uh, don't get the imitation stuff. There's just, just don't waste your time with that. So now you're gonna need about a third a cup of milk. I use 2%. If you want to have a richer velvetier taste, use whole milk or even heavy whipping cream. Set your oven, Ooh. set your oven to 300 degrees. It's gonna be used for your crust. Now let's assemble that crust. Grab a medium to large bowl. Give them a final crunch if need be. There we go, nice and crunchy. Just go ahead and dump those in. Now go ahead and add your sugar. And here we go. I toss the butter in the microwave because you're gonna want it liquidy. And then just go ahead and splash that in there. Grab your favorite spatula and give that bad boy a turn. Make sure to mix that up, coating all of the graham cracker in the butter sugar mixture. Okay, so, sorry about the dishes. So, cut your parchment paper so it's gonna fit into your pan. I used about an eight inch cake pan here. I made two cheesecakes, I had an eight inch cake pan and then an 11 inch as well. Get your pan ingredients ready and take a little tablespoon of butter, melted of course, and go ahead and coat the inside of that pan nice and good. That's gonna help it from getting stuck when you go to pull it out. Now if you overdid it like I did, go ahead and bring your bowl back and put it in there. Okay, so these are gonna be real important later on. These little, little flaps here, uh, it's something I just kind of came up with. It's going to be real helpful getting that cheesecake out of that pan later on. And then take more parchment paper and wrap it around your bowl. Or if it doesn't stick like mine did, you can just skip it. It just makes it a little bit easier to get out of the pan, but at the same time, I don't think we'll have any problem. Go ahead and spread out your graham cracker, covering the whole bottom, and then take a heavy glass and pack that graham cracker down. Make sure to get it evenly distributed all the way around and partly up the sides. If you want it to cover all the way up the sides, go ahead and try and get that now. Uh, it'll probably be a little bit easier with a finer mixture, but we can always uh, cover on the outside later. Now it's time to bake. Take that graham cracker crust and toss it in the oven and bake for about 10 minutes and then pull it out and let it cool to the side. 
take your two full eggs and your three egg yolks, put them in a bowl. Add your vanilla extract and your milk. Go ahead, give that a good splash. Okay, grab your whisk. I like to take the whisk that I'm gonna use on my mixer and just kind of get those mixed in together. Okay, now we're gonna add our sour cream. Go ahead and mix that in the bowl, coating the sides of the bowl. Trust me, it's gonna be easier to incorporate the rest of the ingredients once you get that mixed in there. Okay, now go ahead and sprinkle in your sugar and your cream cheese. And then go ahead and blend that bad boy up. Now go ahead and start mixing that together. You're gonna see it's gonna be kind of chunky at first, but trust me, that's okay. Okay, so now that you've mixed for a little bit, take a spatula and go ahead and scrape that bowl. And trust me, you're gonna wanna do that. It's gonna help bring everything together a lot easier. And keep mixing. So once that's all mixed together, that's when we're gonna include our wet ingredients. Go ahead and dump those in and start mixing it all together until you get a nice smooth consistency. Go ahead, scrape down your bowl, make sure everything's coming together, and continue mixing until you're happy with it and it's nice and smooth. Look at that velvety nest, just keep on blending. All right, now we're gonna take our water bath and add it to our 300 degree oven. We're gonna get that nice and warmed up before we assemble our cheesecake. All right, now it's time to assemble and bring it all together. You have your graham cracker crust, which has been baked. Go ahead and pour your mixture right on in there. Now, if you did like me, you're gonna have two different kinds. I went ahead and made a classic cheesecake and I made a le and lemon zest cheesecake as well, which uh, isn't in this display. Okay, so once you pour it in, it's nice and even. Pull out your water bath. And go ahead and drop your cheesecake in making sure to watch out so it doesn't splash you got hot water in there slide it in make sure that your oven is turned down to 250 degrees you're going to bake it for about an hour the cheesecake without the water bath actually is a lemon zest cheesecake i went ahead and i grated some lemon zest right onto the top and mixed it in just to give it a little extra tang Go ahead and stash a cheesecake right here in the fridge for at least six hours. After that, we'll go ahead and we'll, uh, pull on these bad boys and see if we can get a clean cheesecake out of it. Remember, don't touch it for six hours. And there it is. There's our lemon zest cheesecake. Look how beautiful that is. I used a, two different kinds of pans. I used a tart pan so you can just pull it out and let it go. And look at that, beautiful. Just a thin, gorgeous cheesecake. It almost looks like a little pie 
or I guess her tart because it was made in a tart pan. All right, now it is time for our cheesecake. Go ahead and set it out. Get a cup of tepid water, room temperature, and a non-sharp knife. You don't want to scratch up your pan. Go ahead and take your non-sharp knife and just slowly work it around the edge there just to loosen up that graham cracker crust from the pan. Now you don't want to work it too hard. You don't want to break it and you don't want to smush it down. You just want to get it just loose enough. Okay, then grab your little tabs that you've done and slowly, ever so gently, pull up and out. That's going to release that cheesecake. And place on your plate. And look at that. Perfect cheesecake. Ready to go, ready to eat. Delicious. Just look at that gorgeous cheesecake. Oh, so good, so tasty. Just makes you want to dive right into it. Almost as if, uh, almost as if you're at a restaurant. Too bad uh, this is YouTube and you can't just reach out and grab a piece. Okay, time for a fun bonus tip. You can take your favorite pizza cutter and just go ahead and slice that cheesecake up and you're good to go. Okay, so what did we learn? Cheesecake, a lot simpler than you thought. All you need to do is make sure your ingredients are room temperature, you mix it well, and have a little bit of faith in yourself. Now I'd love to show you guys how you can put a chocolate sauce over the top of it or put a raspberry compote or even just fresh strawberries over the top of it. But um, this is a, <laughs> this is all that, that made it out of, out of the kitchen. So, I mean, I'm just gonna 